Meet the artist who is making art out of a shopping staple. We'll introduce you to Scott Blake is his name and his barcode art. Check it out. College video prank art is moving over for barcode magic. A barcode is just black and white. And most, th you know, most things in the world aren't so easy, aren't so like cut and dry, but barcodes are. His first piece tackled head on the claim that barcodes are part of biblical Armageddon. Is the barcode the sign of the beast? <laughs> Uh, you know, it's definitely, it's an interesting symbol, but it's nothing that apocalyptic. There's the O.J. Simpson portrait, and you got your compilation taken from barcodes off Elvis CDs. I can't walk out. portraits that I make of Elvis and the superstars like Marilyn Monroe, Madonna. I use real barcodes from real products. My barcode portraits are enormous. Some of them are as large as eight feet tall. And then I make flip books that zoom from one face all the way down into one barcode. Zero seven four six four six nine one one five two five. Black Sabbath Reunion Live. Two C D set. Featuring Ozzy Osbourne. abandoned building down the street from where I live. I went out there in the middle of the day and people walked by and they thought I was marking this wall for some kind of excavation and then popped the next day as a barcode. I think if you take a photograph of it and, and shrink it down, you can scan the photograph and it will scan as a Pepsi 2 -year. Enter a little personal data on Blake's website and you too can have your own barcode. So 69. Um, yeah, it's inches. You're um, 5 foot 9 inches. I'm a consumer, I'm just trying to boil it down to the most bare minimum concept. The barcode sort of allows you to look at information for what it is. They're black and white and they, they break everything in the world down to, to one identifiable symbol. And I wonder if you buy one of those flip books, does it charge you for every single one of those barcodes? That could run into real money.